Here is a solution for problem A, crystal crosswinds. We have a grid of cells, some of, some of which are, are colored, and we don't know that grid. But we have some partial information about it and want to restore the initial grid. F formally, we have some views for s some sides. We have a view with some vector, which means that we see only points which are not covered by something else. For example, we don't see these two points on the first picture because they are covered by next one, and we don't see this one point on the second picture because it's covered by the by next one. So we're given such an information and need to restore minimal and maximal possible sets of the points which can be which can be colored. Actually, what information do we have? First of all, each point which exists in any picture exists because otherwise we won't be able to see it. On the other hand, some this means that some other picture, that some other points which would be which, which would shade the, the visible points does not exist. For example, this point does not exist because otherwise one point won't be visible, and and so is true for a lot of other points. On the other side, we for some points we know for sure they doesn't exist because they will surely be visible. For example, this point surely does not exist because there is nothing nothing that can hide it. it it's just located outside of the grid. So when we know that some point is visible, we can be sure we can ensure that it's not hide by something. When we see that some point is invisible, we can ensure that some point does not exist because otherwise because it's nothing that can hide it. And we can propagate this information recursively. After we do all of that, which can be done in linear, in linear time by breadth-first search or depth-first search, like algorithm, we are, have some points which surely exist, some, po some points which surely don't exist, and some points we don't know. Actually, it's happened that with points which we don't know, we can either get them all or don't get them all, which obviously produce minimal and maximum possible values. It's, it's not hard to prove that both of these will be correct solution. It requires some analysis of the graphs where we're actually doing the breadth first search or depth first search, and they would just be in a single component which with this solution consistent in this independent component. That's all. For more from the ICPC World Finals DACA, follow us at news.icpc.global and on social media with our hashtag ICPCWFDACA.